Welcome to our lecture online. Here's our next example and what we're trying to find is the amount of force required to hold this 100 Newton weight in place or it's the same force, how much force is required to pull that 100 Newton weight up at a constant speed. It takes the exact same amount of force and of course we want to know the mechanical advantage. So how do we do that? Well first of all we need to assume that none of the pulleys have mass and none of the pulleys have friction so we're dealing with an ideal situation. If that is the case we know that the tension on this side of the pulley must be the same as the tension on that side of the pulley. So we can say that tension here must equal the tension over there. But then here the tension here will be different than it is over here so let's call that tension 2 on this side. And notice that, again, since the string goes around the pulley here, that means we have to have tension 2 on the other side, which is the same as the tension 2 over here. And again, on this pulley, that means we have tension 2 over here. We just don't know yet what the relationship is between the tension and tension 2. And of course, you can see here that the force required would be equal to tension 2. So what we're going to do here is we're going to draw a free body diagram around this pulley right here. We do that because now we can say that the force pulling down on the object inside a free body diagram is equal to the sum of the two forces pulling up. So we have two forces pulling up, one force pulling down, and we know that in a static situation they must add up to zero. So we can say that the sum of the forces in the y direction add up to zero. So we have two tensions upward, so two tensions upward minus the weight downward is equal to zero. That means two tensions equals the weight, or the tension equals the weight divided by 2, which is 100 newtons divided by 2, so therefore the tension equals 50 newtons. All right, but now we need to determine tension 2. So what we're going to do now is draw a free body diagram around this pulley. And then you can see that we have, relative to this pulley, a force pulling down this way, and relative to this pulley, we have two forces pulling upward. That means, again, we use the same equation, the sum of the forces in the y direction add up to zero. So the two forces pulling upward is T2. We have two of them, so two times T2 pulling upward minus the one T pulling downward is equal to zero, which means that two T2 equals T, or T2 equals T divided by two. And since T is equal to 50 newtons, that's 50 newtons divided by 2, or T2 equals 25 newtons. And we realize then that T2 is the tension on this string all the way down to here, so therefore F equals 25 newtons, which means we need one quarter the force to lift up the 100 newton weight here, so therefore the mechanical advantage in this case is 4 to 1. We only need one quarter the force required to hold up the weight or to lift it up at a constant speed. And that is how it's done.